Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It's good to be back. I got a good one for you today. I got a big one. Regis Progray versus Jack Catterall. Finally getting this fight after the injuries and, and such and such. Uh, but it's a big fight. I want to get into this before we do. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you have consistent make money betting on the sport of boxing. Bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month gets you the Patreon. It gets a lock of the week. We've hit something like at 11 out of the last 13 locks. Uh, looking to uh, get, keep that streak going. Going to stay hot here for you guys. That's uh, the lock of the week. Join the Patreon. $5 a month gets you a lock of the week. Gets you asked to bookie anything. Gets you the updated fight props. It gets you... Uh, Ask the book anything, request the video, get you all the best gambling advice in the world for just five dollars a month. Guys, also head on over to carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. Uh, the nutrition of a steak in a convenience of a bar. That's carnivorebar.com. Uh, use promo code boxing to save 10% at checkout. That's boxing at checkout to save 10%. On the move nutrition without compromise. That's carnivorebar.com. Use promo code BOXING at checkout. Also, subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to autism research and recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Let's get into today's show. Uh, this is an interesting fight because everyone thinks Jack Catterall is egregiously underrated and Bruce's Progre is completely overrated. And I, I think there's some nuance there. I think there's some in the middle there. Jack Catterall is a good fighter. He uh, did not look spectacular with Lonares in a fight. He struggled with over a shot fighter, much like Pro Gray is shot. Um, he looked good with Dara Foley. He, he looked good in the Josh Taylor fights, but he struggled a bit with Taylor in, in some rounds. I'm leaning towards Catterall. Decent athlete, moves well, nice jab. A little bit slippery. You know, he can fill his shell. He's a good athlete with some good boxing skill, skills. He can fill his shell with it a little bit. Um, back foot boxer. Kind of a, a, a high IQ back foot boxer that likes to counter. He's got a wide base. He's got a good slick jab. He's quick, but he's not super quick. He's not super quick. He's not super twitchy. He's not Shakur Stevenson or anything like that. He's not... He's not that, but he's got a little twitch to him. Counter shots well. He picks off and catches shots well. He's a high, he's a high IQ fighter who knows how to box. Good when he's up. Uh, he's a good combination puncher. He's not a big hitter, but he can put shots together. And when he does, he can throw you off your timing, and you want to be on the offensive with him, but he changes that. Right when he throws in combination, he changes that. He puts you on the defensive. He's also a precise counter puncher, so he kind of gets you to shell up at times too, because you don't want to open up because he's going to hit you back with something. Now the shot's not huge, so it's not going to rock you with it, but you keep getting hit with it. You, you start to slow down, and you see this. Not a big puncher, not a high volume guy. Really good angles. Circles the ring. Good feet. Um. He likes to box from the outside, and he can't really keep you off of him. That's his issue. And I don't know that he's going to be able to keep Progre off of him. Progre wants this fight on the inside. He's smooth, selective, and accurate with his counter shots. He's not a high volume guy, but he's a precise puncher. He works well, good jab, good feet, decent athlete, good defensive fighter, knows how to fight, high, right, high ring IQ guy. Uh, who needs to let his hands go a little bit more to try to keep you off of him. That's basically what we're looking at with Jack Catterall. Now, let's flip this over to Regis Progre. Regis Progre, I thought, was out of time, 2018, 2019. Oh, you know, one of the best fighters in the world. He's obviously slowed down quite a bit. Um, he's aged. He's slowing down. He still has that jittery kind of perky-jerky style. He can still punch, still works behind the jab. He still does things well. Likes to come forward, front foot guy. His speed is clearly declining. That was obvious in the Zaria fight and was painfully obvious in the Devin Haney fight. He's also not a huge volume guy anymore. Struggling to let his hands go. You can see that. Still has some skills, though. 
His speed, you know, he's not slow, slow. He's probably slower than Catterall at this point, but he's not painfully slow, right? He still has a little bit of speed to him. It's just you can see it's declining. Straight in, he's easy to count. He's always been that way. He gets hit a lot cleanly now. Stays behind the high guard. He block shots pretty well. Still throws hard shots. Commits to his shots. He just struggles to let him go in the volume that he used to. He gets hit too much. He's on the decline. There's no question about it. But he still likes to be aggressive. And if he can get on the inside of Catterall, this could be a very, very interesting fight. He gets hit a lot coming in. Um, so what do I like in this fight? Right, you got a guy who's going to try to make the fight on the inside against a guy who wants it on the outside but can't really keep you off of him either. This is an interesting fight. And I think this fight's way more 50-50 than people are letting on to. So there's one bet I like for your parlay. This is not a great fight to bet, but there's two bets that I'm interested in. Total rounds over 10 and a half. I love this bet. You can take Catterall on the money line, but for over 10 and a half, I'm much more comfortable with that. I am much more comfortable with that. So I'm taking the over 10 and a half. That's my bet. I would build my parlay around that bet. This thing's going over 10 and a half. I can, that is for certain. The other bet I like a lot, and I'm going to make this a small bet, maybe a one quarter bet. Reese's program by decision at plus 850. It's probably not going to hit, okay? You're, you're probably not going to hit on this. He's probably going to lose a decision. You could just make this bet bigger. Let's make this, um, you know, now we're betting twice what we usually bet. $175 bet is going to make you 40 bucks, And then a $25 bet is going to make you 112 I think this is a good bet. I always say if it's 50-50, and I think this fight is 50-50, and you're getting over 300 you're getting just 300 here. That's not a terrible bet. I would like to see if it goes up a little bit, it might be worth betting. But the bet I really like, and I really think this thing is going the distance. So if Progray wins, he's going to win by decision. So Progray, by decision or technical decision at plus 850, I think is a very sexy, very intriguing bet. I'm not locking that up. You're probably not going to get it. If I would have if I would have handicapped this fight, I would say 55% Catterall wins, 45% Progray wins. I would say in that 45% chance of Progray winning, you know, there's a 35% chance he wins by decision and a 10% chance he wins by knockout. So what I'm saying is if you're if you could do math, I'm saying he's got a one third chance of winning. If this fight happened three times, pro if this fight happened three times, Progray would win by decision once. Okay. One in three chance of winning. He's being paid eight and a half to one to get the decision. It's worth the gamble, even though it be prepared to lose that money. So just make the money up on the other bet, right? If it does it, and it's really not out of the question, right? It's like saying pick a number between one and three. It's not a terrible shot you're going to get it right. I, I think there's about a 33% chance where he just wins this fight by, by decision. So it's not a terrible bet. It's just two out of three, you're not going to hit it. Um... But they're paying you as if there's a one and a half out of ten chance he hits. And there's a much better chance than that. So I, I think that's an interesting bet to just put a little bit of money on. Um, Catterall on the money line at minus 400. I don't see a ton of value in that. I think it's closer than that. Although he probably wins. It's a very dangerous fight. I think progress stylistically can make life difficult for Catterall. I, I think Catterall's better. He's got obviously more left in the tank. He can win rounds with him. But Progray, we're going to find out about Progray. I like the over 10 and a half. That's what I really like. Um, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. But this is what we got. We got the over 10 and a half. And I like the, a small bet just to get a taste. Progray by decision. Pays really well. I think at plus 850, that's a sexy bet right there. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Guys, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Just $5 a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you to request a video. It gets you the updated props. It gets you everything that you need for just $5 a month. Also, head over to carnivorebar.com. That's carnivorebar.com. Uh, use promo code BOXING to save 10% at checkout. Carnivorebar.com. All right, y'all. Uh, it is... October 21st, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless.
Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.